What is up guys, it's Victoria back at you with another video. Today we are going to be doing a video on long division. I've never done a math video before so I'm actually super excited. This is something that I've been waiting to do for a long time and I'm happy that I'm actually doing it. Some of you may know this but my favorite subject is math and science so I'm probably gonna do some science videos in the future but so today we're going to be doing long division with decimal answers and um, fractional answers. Let's start this off. So uh, we're gonna see how many times so we're gonna do our normal division rules as um if you don't know that i'm probably i will uh make sure to post a video on that in the future but and so how many times is five going to five so um let's just check right here five divided by five that's a bit too big five divided by Five equals one. And um just to check that we could check that five times five equals one. So wait, that's not what I meant. <laughs> five times one equals five. So now that we know that um one is going to be the answer for the first one right here. Okay, so now that we have the one, we're gonna do five times one which equals 5, we're going to subtract it, and get 0, and then we're going to bring down this 3. Now, now that we have this 3, we're going to see how many times does 5 go into 3. And there's a very simple way to do this, 3 divided by 5 equals uh, zero. We're not going to go into, for this situation, you're not going to go into decimals or fractions when you're doing this part. And just to check that, we do 5 times 1 equals uh, 5. So anything lower than 5 would be 0. So we know that that goes in 0 times. 5 times 0 equals 0. Subtract so from the 3. Then get the six down now we have this 36 number and we need to find out how many times does um five go into 36 so um 36 divided by five equals seven put the seven up here five times seven equals 35 and now we have this remainder of 1. And as we did this earlier, we know that this 1 equals 1 fifth. Because we know that 1 divided by 5, because we're using the division, 1 divided by 5 equals 1 fifth. So basically, the, the reason I love this stuff, the reason I love math, is because if you know the trick, everything just connects. So we have this one here, and um, we don't know what to do with it. So we know that it's one fifth. We know that our answer is one o seven and one fifth. And as we know that from earlier, that one tenth equals zero point one. So to see how what decimal number this is, we will have to make it a tenth. So um, one fifth in tenths is two tenths so it's um two tenths in a decimal way so we know that that is our answer along with 